completely broke. He's a college student looking for a way to survive today, multimillionaire, ready to share how you can raise your financial status. Got a new book out called How Rich People Think. Steve joins us now to talk more about the book and things that he's discovered over the years. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Brad. I'm all, you, I'm all ears. <laughs> how do rich people think? How, how are they different from maybe everybody else who has, you know, the mortgage and owes a lot and can't find a way to get ahead? What's different about it? Well, I think, first of all, the rich operate out of an abundance mentality, an abundance consciousness. In other words, they think about what they want and moving toward what they want as opposed to what most of us think of, which is the fear, and I hope I have enough to survive. It's setting a goal. Yes. It's, that still doesn't explain it, though. How, how, what, is, it, is it truly just changing the way you look at not only money but life? Is that, is that a? I think it's a start. I don't yeah. think it's going to make you rich. By thinking rich, I don't think it's going to make you rich. I don't, I don't claim that. I mean, you have to take action, obviously. But I think it's the beginning because if I don't believe it's possible, and I don't think most people believe it's possible, and it is very, very possible, especially mm -hmm. in America. Yeah. If I don't believe it's possible, I won't pursue it. And mm -hmm. most people don't because they don't believe it's possible. They've been told this is just an, an incredibly hard thing to do, and it's not. A lot of you interviewed so many different people, you know, millionaires and, and people who have a lot of money. They say money can't buy happiness. Are these people generally happy with what they've got in life? Are they kind of content? Or what, how did you find them? I don't think money made them happy. I, I think, Brad, if, if they were happy before, they're, they're, they're just as happy. I don't think they're any happier. Mm -hmm. But it makes your life easier, and it gives you opportunities that you can't do without money. But I don't think it makes them any happier now. And in opportunities could be with money or something as easy as being charitable. And, and giving back and things like that? Definitely. They're great philanthropists right here in town. you got Nito Cobain, a friend of mine, is a great philanthropist mm -hmm. here in, uh, in High Point, president of High Point University. Mm -hmm. And they're great philanthropists, but also it, it, it eliminates the worry of money. We've all stayed up in the middle of the night and, and had that terrible thought. I have, too. What am I going to do? How am I going to put tires I've on the car? I've got this many bills coming yeah. due. And, and how, you said tires on the car, car broken down, something like that. When you look at this and people read this, is it the object not to get rich, but to change how you look at things? I think so. Yeah. I, think it's, I think it's a mentality that money flows to. I think it, once you start thinking of this, of, of this in this way, then you start saying, okay, what's the key to getting rich? I think it's solving problems. You look at problems. We have a lot of problems right now in this sure. country, lots to solve. A lot of people are going to get really, really rich in the next five years. You break it down into easy bits of advice. After people have read this, what are the comments you've heard? What have you heard from people who've said, you know, this may have changed the way I look at things? Well, I think some people, you either sort of believe this is possible for you or you don't. And I think most people believe it's possible for people like Nito Cobain, for example, or yeah. Donald Trump or someone like that, but they don't think it's possible for themselves. And that's what I, I wrote this book for, for people who are sort of on the fence, who read it and say, hey, I can do this. This is something I can do. Well, I hope a lot of people do read it. They can change. Thank hey, you so much for coming in. I tell you what, it, the book is actually broken down into very short chapters, bits of advice, and you know, you might find something there that changes your life too. Once again, the name of the book is How Rich People Think. You can pick it up at major retailers and check it out.